Hi everyone, and thanks for watching our Strategy Fest special on February 16th, 2023. So again, we're looking at the GFS 12 Z run from MetaShield.fr for the temperatures at 10 HPA over the stratosphere, sorry, in the stratosphere over the North Pole, as we're currently still in the midst of a um, major SSW. The zero winds have, uh, the zero winds have now gone, gone into reverse. Um, and that's the key thing you need for an, for an SSW. That means the winds um, orbiting the um, you know the Arctic and the North Pole are going in easterly direction instead of the in, instead of the normal zonal z- westerly winds. Um, when you have the polar vortex over the um, North Pole at, at an HPA, so um, th- so we have secured it now. We have seen an SSW, and now we just need to see how the warming fades out, if we see any other mother warmings that um, keep the PV displaced over America, the Atlantic and Europe. And also, we will soon be trying to, trying to use some um, longer range models to try and see whether they are picking up on some um, tr- tropospheric responses, um, you know, from this um, SSW. So, very very interesting times for the weather. We could be in for a very cold March, um, a um, very late spring this year. Even um, it could even last into April. Who knows? Or we may not get cold at all. We could just stay the way we are. Um, but it's all to be revealed. All to be revealed. But one thing's certain: we now have a, a warming, a, a big SSW. So I'm just gonna run through this quickly, so you can see this very nicely. Um, today at 7 p.m. This, this chart is for, and we see these deep um, orange and red colours over the North Pole at an HPA and the Arctic. As we go through, these sort of fade out as you can't really sustain those temperatures at an HPA over the North Pole. And then we, we move on, and the PV nearly splits there on um, next Wednesday, February 22nd. It nearly splits there around. Um, you know, New York, um, Boston, Nova Scotia, towards um, that area, Newfoundland as well. Um, let me go through, it doesn't split, and the PV tries to push northwards, but look at this, we get a, a um, another warming over Siberia, and that just keeps the PV displaced over um, America, the Atlantic, and Europe, as I say, you can see it nicely there. Tries to re-strengthen, but is pushed back and weakened again by that warming. And the further warming um, forms over um, Mongolia and eastern Siberia, and then that um, keeps it displaced, keeps the PV displaced over um, again Europe, Europe, the Atlantic, and America, and we end up on um, Saturday, March fourth, with a warming over Siberia, pushing into the um, Arctic and the North Pole, and the PV weak and displaced, and. Um, that's about t- I say that's about the time where we'd start seeing hints in the models of um, any cold spell if if we if we are, if we are going to be um, getting one from this warming. So a lot a lot to um, focus on for now. Um, there's a lot happening. So as ever, the weather is always keeping us busy, despite the fact that it's uh, um, been giving us a lot of mild and dry weather for the past month. This has always been something to um, watch develop, so I'm not going on with weather as always. So, so, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That's how we're looking for now. Um, we're still looking at further minor warmings um, coming off and just keeping the PV displaced and weakened. But for now, this is the um, major warming coming to a close. Um, so the winds are now in, in reverse, easterly winds orbiting the uh, um, North Pole and the Arctic. At an HPA, and now we have to do is wait and see what the consequences are. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.